a love dill rice and for you I have made Persian dill rice with lima beans and fresh dill. We use basmati rice and butter and olive oil. It looks fantastic. Hi friends, I'm Gastro Guru and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. <music> Gastro Guru here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also make sure you press the bell icon. This way, every time I get a new recipe, I make a new recipe and you get it a notification for that. So, you know, let's get started. Today for you, I'm going to be preparing dill rice with beans. So this is a Persian rice recipe. And in the Persian rice recipe, you know, we are going to use basmati rice and then we are going to be adding dill, fresh dill to it and also lima beans. And it's easy to make and it's going to taste fantastic. All right. So let, let's go with the ingredients first. All right, friends. So to make our Persian dill rice with beans, with lima beans, here I have two cups of basmati rice. This is the best rice, long grain, and, you know, it's going to be nice. It's going to cook in such a way that it's going to every kernel is going to be separate and yeah, that's perfect for our Persian dill rice. So these are two cups of that and here I have you know a, water in a bowl. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to soak our rice in the water for about 10 minutes. Okay so basically they'll soften up and then so we're going to Mix the rice in nicely, the basmati rice in the water. And then what we're going to do is set it aside, like I said, for 10 minutes. So it softens up. After 10 minutes, you know, we'll drain the rice and then, you know, we'll start cooking it. And the, the way it's going to be is that we are going to cook the rice al dente. We're not going to cook it all the way through because there's a second pro in a process where we are going to layer the rice with fresh dill. You know, some people use, you know, dry dill. I don't like that. So we're going to layer it. Once it's kind of al dente, semi-cooked, we're going to layer it with dill and with lima beans. So these are, you know, pre-cooked lima beans. You can get uncooked and cook them yourself, but this is the easy way. And then we also have some butter. Now, what we're going to do is while our rice is soaking, we are going to be peeling and slicing the potatoes. I have two potatoes here and we're going to slice it in rounds. And then what we're going to do is that the potatoes also soak for a little bit. All right. So let's start peeling our potatoes. That shouldn't take too long. All right, friends, so I have, you know, peeled and cut one potato and I'm now going to slice the other one in rounds. So this is going to be, you know, place after the rice is cooked, the second part of our kind of slow cooking the rice to perfection. Okay. So the potato is almost done. And now we're going to set these aside. Okay. And now, what we're going to do is our rice it's been about 10 minutes it's nice and soft so i'm going to drain that and then we're going to start cooking the rice all right all right friends so here i have you know water boiling in a non-stick pot and to that i'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of canola oil okay next thing i'm going to add to this is two teaspoons of salt now this might seem like a lot but remember we're just going to cook the rice al dente not all the way through and then we're going to drain the water so you know some of the salty water is going to be out all right and now to this as the water is boiling along with the canola oil i'm going to be adding 
our pre-soaked rice, which is now drained. And that's going to go in there. Okay. And we're going to let this cook for about five to seven minutes until it's again al dente, not fully cooked, almost cooked. All right. So we'll be back in five to seven minutes and then we're going to drain this rice. All right, friends, so it's been about four minutes and let's check on our rice. Again, we don't want it to be fully cooked and there you see it. It's almost done, but not all the way through. And that's how we want it. So at this point, what I'm going to do is shut off the gas and we're going to drain the rice, all right? All right, friends, so it's time to drain our rice. It's almost cooked, al dente. And basically what we're gonna do is let it drain and then we are gonna start, you know, cooking it on real low flame, on real low heat. And then we'll be laying it with dill and lima beans, all right? All right, friends, so while our basmati rice is draining, you know, in this part, I'm going to start layering the potatoes. So we're going to be putting the potatoes at the bottom and making sure that there's not too much of a gap between them. So the whole idea is that the potatoes will cook at the bottom. And in the meantime, you know, the rice is going to be on top of that. All right. So once I'm start, you know, layering and done with the potato layers we are going to be adding the rice to it okay layering the rice two layers all right so again i'm trying to make sure that the potatoes are nice and tight in here okay that looks pretty good i want to replace a couple of them with ones that are nicely sliced you know so that there's even cooking all right so that looks good so now the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to add some canola oil to that all right and then it's about two two and a half tablespoons and also I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the olive oil that'll kind of enhance the flavor. All right, so that looks good. And now we're going to start layering the rice. So here's the rice that's been drained. The water's been drained. This is almost cooked, but not completely. The rest of, you know, it will get cooked in here. All right so as you can see I'm layering the rice then we're going to have a second layer so right now as you can see I'm spreading the rice evenly over the potatoes you know which have been drizzled with canola oil and olive oil all right Next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding half of the lima beans. These are pre-cooked, and this was like one can. This is about, I would say, total cup and a half. And then we're gonna layer more when we do the second layer of rice. And now the star of the dish, fresh dill. So I'm going to layer the rice and lima beans with fresh dill. And this is about half a bunch. You know, it's an approximation, just enough to kind of cover the rice completely. I'm telling you, it's already smelling so good. By the time it's done, it's going to smell pure heaven. Okay. 
All right, so that looks good. I'm going to do the same thing with the second layer. Add rest of the rice. Okay. Spread it evenly. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You know where I'm going with this. So all the rice is in there. And then now I'm just going to spread it evenly. All right. That's layer number two. Okay. Looks good. Then we're going to be adding the remaining lime beans. These are cooked. You know, I got them pre cooked. Just drain the liquid out and you know, rinse them. But you can also get them uncooked and cook them yourself if you like. It's your personal choice. This just makes it easier. All right. Next thing, we're going to be adding the dill. So first thing I'm going to do is add the dill on the sides. Okay. And then before I layer the dill, fresh dill in the middle, I'm going to be adding some butter because butter is going to take this to a whole new level. Yes, sir. This is like two tablespoons of butter, like half a tablespoon for a cut. I'll slide that in. And then what I'm going to do is push that in a little bit so it kind of gets buried in there. All right. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's get the rest of the butter in there. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is add the remaining dill, the fresh dill. I'm telling you the fresh dill is already smelling so good. Oh yeah. You just want to make sure that you get the leaves and not the, the hard stems, okay? Let me just add the remaining dill. So I would say this dill is about, about three cups total, okay? It's half a bunch. All right, so this is done. And the heat's at really low. And we're going to cover this and let the rice, you know, the basmati rice with the fresh dill and lima beans cook for about 30, 25 to 30 minutes at real low heat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap a kitchen towel, okay, on top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we are doing this so that The moisture that's going to be coming out when the rice is getting steamed is going to soak up the moisture and so our rice is going to remain nice and fluffy i love dill rice this is a persian recipe with lima beans and fresh dill when you use basmati rice look at that how awesome it looks it smells fantastic so be sure to check out this awesome recipe on my youtube channel gastro guru and do share, like, and subscribe, and press the bell icon so that you get new recipes each time I make them, all right? So thank you very much, and bon appetit.